Welcome back for another video, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are into content related to the foraging of wild edible fungi and plants, this is the place for you, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell. There's a lot of talk these days about magic mushrooms, or those with psychoactive properties. And usually when people are discussing these mushrooms, they are talking about species within the genus Psilocybe. But there are other genus of mushrooms which also contain psychoactive species, and today as I was driving around, I happened to notice a really big flush of mushrooms coming up in an area where they had cut down pine trees, turned them into wood chip mulch, and there was a huge, amazing flush of mushrooms coming out of these. Now, I have never found this species until today, but I instantly knew what it was because I've always been interested in seeing it for no other reason than it is very beautiful and amazing to see. So why don't we go over the key identifying features of it right now? Let's dive into Gymnopolis luteifolius. So Gymnopolis luteifolius, the yellow-gilled Gymnopolis. It is a classic stem and cap mushroom. It has gills on the fertile undersurface. They are blade-like structures. They are fairly widely spaced. They attach to the stem at the apex. When this mushroom first emerges as a pin, there will be a partial veil which is covering these gills. Over time it will break and it will normally leave a somewhat webby ring right up here and there are remnants of it on these smaller ones but these came from a fairly exposed environment and I believe they are just not present. They are not always there. When it's very young, the gills will be a very pale yellow, but as it ages, this mushroom is known for dumping gregarious amounts of spores. The spores are a rusty orange color, and that is what has stained these gills to this color. So as it ages, they turn more of a rusty orange. It grows in clusters, but it can also grow singularly or just one or two. It grows on decaying wood, whether it's logs or wood chips. This was growing on pine wood chips. When it starts out, it has these tiny warts. They are sort of a purplish, almost pinkish, interesting color and when it's very small they cover the entire cap and the whole cap is pretty much that dark color as it grows they spread out and this tan color emerges until eventually on the very large fruits they just look like a orangish tan mushroom somewhat nondescript although they are quite large the stems have this purplish color lighter at the apex. The stems are pretty tough and very fibrous. If you tear them apart, they are made up of lots of tough fibers. Sometimes these will bl bruise blue, and I think there's a little bit of bruising on some of these very tiny mushrooms, but uh, they don't always bruise blue. If you cut these in half, the flesh of the cap can be, but is not always, a bright pinkish purple color. They grow from summer all the way into fall and right through the winter in some warmer climates. They are widespread throughout North America. They do contain psilocybin and psilocin which are both psychoactive substances. People do collect these and consume them for recreation and other means. I do not. I just collect them because they're beautiful. 
but a really interesting and cool species and very awesome to see it. If we take one and we tear it in half, you will see that fibrillose stem and very often I hear that these will stain a pink or purple inside, but these are kind of dried out. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but they are not really staining, or at least not quickly anyway. But a really cool mushroom and uh, super stoked to see this. Gymnopolis luteifolius.